everyone welcome back to another um environment value sketching episode it's week two and we're gonna be doing four value sketches today so um for the first value sketch um for all of them as a matter of fact i start off with my perspective lines so for this one I, I really had the idea to have a cathedral and then to do some mountains in the background and I just want to point out that with the perspective lines I ensure that even my my sky was affected by those lines because sometimes we forget that perspective acts on everything in the piece and not just the buildings or the the little um objects that we draw like a box or something so in keeping with what we discussed last week just reiterating that for each value sketch you should ensure that what is in the foreground is the darkest and what is in the background is the lightest so for this i'm trying to ensure that even though i add a bit of detail which is not a lot because it's just a sketch i try to keep the values close to the um the general value of that area of the piece so I try to make sure that it's not too bright in the fore in the foreground and it's not too dark in the background. So as I went along, I did use the airbrush a bit to add some to add a bit of darkness to the foreground and some mist in the background right there around the clouds. And that's basically piece one, the cathedral. Yeah. So now on to piece two. Yeah. So doing our perspective grids again, um, I didn't know what I wanted for this one at all. I just went in, tried to fiddle around with drawing the lines and then I came up with the idea to have like a little cliff and um, in between two mountains and there should be a little river in between those two mountains and you can to give off the feel that you're looking over that cliff, looking in between those two mountains, seeing in the distance you see with some other mountains further off in the distance. Um, I, this one didn't turn out as planned. I don't think I did the perspective right. I really don't. And I don't think I have the skill set to figure out how to fix it. Um, but I went on and still continue to try to add some detail to it and to make sure that it look at least a little bit presentable. A good way to know if your perspective works is by asking somebody, some random person, if they can identify what's going on in the picture. If they can't, then you know something's wrong. If they can, then you know you did it well. So that's the end of piece two yeah piece three you know so piece three was the best piece for me so i tried to um i really tried to let my creative juices on on this one spill out you know what i mean <laughs> anyway um i love i love stairs i love castles i love that kind of fantasy feel and that's what i wanted in this one so i went on did my little um shape things i didn't use a reference for this one so i just was going off the top of my head of the how a castle should look or how a stair should look so i just went in with general shapes which is easier to shape and mold different objects in the piece so um just like before what's in the foreground is darker and what's in the background is lighter um yeah so i just went in tried to refine the whole piece refine the stairs refine that little door thing it's just a random door in the middle of the nowhere oh a good thing that i did was to use the clouds to help um draw the eyes to the focal point of the piece which is the that door pathway thing yeah at the top i really don't know what it is let's just call it a door yeah so i tried to you put the clothes in somewhat of a circular motion to draw the eyes to the center part of the piece so you should do you could do little things like that in your piece to actually bring emphasis to certain areas yeah oh so the hardest part of the piece for me was actually doing these castles uh because it wasn't really something i wanted that was super detailed i had a hard time just doing it as a sketch but i end up figuring it out i tried to make the the castle look look as if it was um standing on a tree bark type thingy yeah that's the kind of feel i wanted to give it as if it was growing from this tree so that's basically what i did for the rest and went on with that sketchy type um rendering thing i did for the castle it wasn't well, didn't have a lot of details at all, but I think it worked out to give an idea that there's a castle there, or some type of living structure there, I guess. Um, but for me, this piece was the best one. 
because I had I got to do a lot more crazy stuff and I like doing stuff like this I don't do it a lot but when I do it makes me pretty happy so yeah I tried to use the airbrush once again to add in some more highlights some more darker tones in the piece to give it a little bit more depth yeah so that's basically it for piece number three the stairway yeah yeah no we're moving on to piece number four ah uh, yeah um, this one I, I didn't really enjoy this one at all um i started off wanting to do something like a mayan temple thing but that didn't work out as planned i just got bored of the idea that i was working with as you can see i'm going to get rid of what i have right here and start off with something else so i didn't go in with a plan i didn't go in with any references except the temple so i really didn't know how this piece was going to turn out and it's really good to plan things ahead especially if you're doing um art for someone else <laughs> you know you're getting paid to do it try to plan ahead because if you're just going off the top of your head it might not turn out as good as it could have if you were to plan but there is some novelty there's some good merit to doing things just off the top of your head because i'm just making random shapes and hoping it works out in this piece by following the perspective lines and from those random shapes you can get some interesting rock formation or some interesting buildings that you would have never gotten if you were probably just using references alone so i think in that instance that was a it was a pretty good thing to do so i knew i wanted it to be kind of sci-fi like but kind of um old and historical with the whole old type temple thingy going on but i tried to make the little um moon in the background um in between the mountains to give off something that is just not of this world and i tried to keep the element of the temple to say oh well maybe some humanoid life form does live there though at least we know that so in that regard it was pretty nice to do um i did enjoy trying to form out these rocks in the foreground i'm not really i really don't have that much expertise on drawing a lot of things from nature but for a person who just started like a few weeks ago i think i pretty i did pretty well yeah uh so that's basically the entire piece it's just me putting some more detail putting some dark oh right here i'm gonna get rid of the stairs because i realized that um it i didn't do it right in terms of perspective it was pretty off so i ended up correcting that and then continuing with the little river flowing out of the temple so uh for here i just ended up using the airbrush once again to add more darker tones and lighter tones oh and remember don't don't overuse the airbrush it's just to give some more um give a little bit more depth to your piece you, you do need hard edges and soft edges on your piece and the airbrush really doesn't give a lot of soft edges um hard edges i should say it does soft edges pretty well it's an airbrush obviously but not hard edges so be very careful in how you use it and not overdo it just you know, use it to highlight some stuff so that's basically the piece and that's basically all of our pieces so i want to thank you all for watching today um it was really fun next week i'm definitely going to try to do something in color so i don't think i'll be starting off with a value sketch so i'll definitely just go straight in with the color and see how that works out thank you guys for watching and see you guys next week bye bye